Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, young men, young women. My name is Stan Barty, and I'm uh, one of the founders of the new Barty School of Engineering, a very proud founder, if I can add. Um, as you are aware, uh, earlier this year, we uh, agreed to donate $10 million to the Laurentian University, to the School of Engineering. I'm very proud that my family and I are doing that. Proud to be part of Laurentian, proud to be part of Sudbury. And, and just to give you something about who I am and some background, um, uh, I lived in Sudbury for over 15 years. I uh, was a young graduate from Britain when I came over to Canada. Started with Falconbridge, which is now Extrata. Worked there in the mining business and in rock mechanics for many years. In fact, I used to give lectures at Laurentian University when I was uh, a young engineer at Falcon Ridge in rock mechanics. Uh, I remember some of the professors. I remember Laurentian University when you guys did not have your PNG accreditation. So it was a very different time, and I'm, I'm proud that you've come a long way. The awards you guys are winning today, students, uh, a large graduating class. Uh, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud to be part of it. Um, I want to you know, say a few things uh, that are important that hopefully will help you for the rest of your lives. First of all, congratulations on graduating. Congratulations on uh, surviving five years in Sudbury. It's, uh, it's, uh, Sudbury is, is an interesting town, but it has to get into your blood. So I'm glad you guys survived that. Um, as you know, my company, Forbes in Manhattan, is a merchant bank. And we've lived and breathed by the mining industry for over 10, 15 years in Toronto. Our model has been to find resource companies, finance them, put our own management teams, build them actively, work in them, and list them on, on ideally on the Toronto or the London Stock Exchange. And that model has worked well, partly because I think we're in a good cycle in commodities. And I, I firmly believe that the next 10 years for you guys is an opportunity not only to do well professionally, but also to do well financially. So what advice can I give you? What can I tell you? First of all, I think the best opportunities for young men and women are to go abroad, especially in mining. So I encourage you all to find jobs in Brazil, in Africa, in other parts of South America. Go learn Portuguese, go learn Spanish, uh, go learn French. Uh, I'm sure some of you speak French. Um, but go learn a different language, mix with different cultures. You're young, hopefully most of you are single. Find yourself beautiful women or men around the world and enjoy life. That's very important. I think it's important. The world is a global marketplace today. It's not, a, it's not an area where you can live in Sudbury. You know, when I was living in Sudbury, the dream of every graduate from Laurentian was, my parents were in Sudbury. My parents worked for the mining industry. I want to have a job at Incor Falkenbridge and stay there. I think that's boring. I think you guys should get out and do something for yourselves. And the other thing that will make you do is it will make you identify and discover yourself. And it sounds easy, but most of us really don't take the time to discover ourselves. We're always busy and involved with other stuff. And, and you know, just well, we try and do things that other people, we think other people would want us to do. Or we portray ourselves in, in an image of how other people want to see us, thinking that's how we want to be. And I think self-discovery is important. And there's nothing better than being immersed in a different culture, different values, different people, and, and, and learning a different language and interacting with the, with, with the world. So that's, that's the one thing. I, I, I encourage you to do that. The other thing I wanted to mention to you was that, you know, the other piece of advice I want to give you is that, how do you become successful in life? Obviously, brains, effort matters. But there's, especially working for in corporations, big corporations, how you present yourself is important. Sometimes perception is more important than reality. Sometimes it's not how you, how good you are, it's how good your superiors perceive you to be. So there's a thing that's called situation sensitivity. You've got to learn how to deal with your bosses. You've got to learn how to deal with the personality of your boss and change yourself accordingly. It's, it's, it's a tough world out there, so honesty doesn't always matter. What matters is sometimes creativity. So when you're a young engineer, read the environment around you carefully. Read your bosses, read how the company's philosophy works, and try and be in that mold. Try and be in that mold. I think that's very important. And a lot of the people, you know, they're energetic, and they want to show off, and they want to get in there, and they want to impress everybody, and they kind of blow up. So take your time, 
to think, read situations carefully, read the political environment, read the uh, corporate structure, uh, corporate culture, read the local culture of the country if you're, if you're living abroad, and use all that to your advantage. That's very, very important in a career move in big companies. And, and, you know, and it's so important to read how, you know, what also, when you're working, the one key question I used to ask when I used to work at Falcon, which is, how do I make my boss look better? Very important. Not how do I look better. How do I make my boss look better? Because my boss, boss looks better, he's going to owe me one. So that's a very uh, small point, but keep that in mind and, and, and use your judgment uh, in that regard. So that's, that's a bit of advice. Just I was giving you, you know, I thought, what am I going to tell these guys? They're smart, they're young, they're creative. And I think that's a, a political angle is important. And, uh, and finally,